Hello everyone, hope you're all well. I wasn't planning on filming today. It's pretty overcast and therefore dark in here, but I was doing laundry and very sadly, I discovered that a bunch of my socks, including my Deathly Hollow socks, have enormous holes in them. And so I pulled out all of the socks that were getting old and tired and all of the underwear that need to go as well. And now that I've done that, all of my socks and underwear fit very neatly in this little Ikea storage bin. So nice. But that coupled with the fact that my husband and I recently moved our dresser out of our master bedroom means that my closet has been driving me crazy. Everything that used to be stored in our dresser is now in my closet, or at least all of my items from the dresser are now in my closet. And I do like that it's centralized, but now that I've been living with it like this for, I think a little over a week, I, I'm going a little insane. Everything is jam packed in here. So I think it's time for a declutter. Let's see what I can get rid of. All right, I just pulled my jeans out of the dryer and I went around counting all of my clothing, including my outerwear that lives in the front entryway closet. And all together, I have 34 items of clothing. I think in my last couple of videos, I've said that I have 33 items of clothing because I keep forgetting that a few months ago, I bought a pair of blue jeans that I intended to swap out with a pair of jeans I already owned and I haven't made that decision yet. So apologies for the misinformation. I also down here have nine pairs of shoes plus my house slippers that I'm wearing right now. We'll see what happens when we get to shoes, but now that everything's all together, it's kind of like, what are we decluttering? My day wear or everything else? It's kind of everything today. And I think we'll get started with ski clothes. All right, this is all of my ski clothing. Right in the middle on the bed here, I have 15 pieces of ski slash snow sports gear. I have a helmet, snow pants, base layers, mid layers, socks, gloves, goggles. And then over here, I have another blue velvet box where I have five pieces of workout gear. I have two workout tops. I have one pair of workout leggings. I also recently bought a new pair of joggers that I intend to wear to the gym, but they are super comfy to wear around the house, so I'm keeping them in loungewear. And my bathing suit top and bottom are in that box as well, rounding it out to five items. So between the two, we have 15 pieces of ski slash snow clothing and five pieces of gym clothing. Let's see what I can do. All right, that was quick and easy. I'm keeping everything you see in front of you, including these workout leggings, which I may eventually get rid of and just keep the joggers, but for now I'm going to hang on to them. And I have added to the discard pile these four items. I'm going to get rid of this zipper mid-layer thing, this base layer, and these two pairs of wool socks. I'm still keeping one pair of wool socks just to sort of wear around the house whenever we go skiing, but that is the growing discard pile, and all of this is staying. I think I could consolidate the items in this little box into this larger box, but I'm going to hold off and play with storage later. Next, let's do loungewear. For loungewear, I have two pairs of pajama sets and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight individual pieces of loungewear, but I definitely don't need or wear it all. That was another quick and easy category. I'm gonna keep both of my pajama sets. I really love wearing pajama sets. These two t-shirts I mostly wear to the gym, so I might store these with workout gear. We'll see, and I wear these all the time in the winter, but these two t-shirts and this pair of shorts, I don't get a lot of use out of. The two shirts are a little too tight, and in the summer, I'm more likely to wear just a pair of my normal shorts around the house than these knit shorts. So these three can go, and everything else is staying. Bras, again, are an easy category. All five of them are staying. On to sweaters. I have six sweaters in black, navy, green, red, gray with black piping, and white. 
and recently, just in the last couple of weeks, all of these sweaters have held up for years or at least two seasons. But very recently, two of my sweaters, this black one and this red one, have just shrunken beyond repair. I could possibly make rags out of this, but I've tried to stretch it out, I've tried to revive it, and there is no coming back for these two. And this gray sweater has been sort of on again, off again with me. It's been in a trial separation box before, and I wore it a few weeks ago, and I think it is just time to let go of it. So these three sweaters are going, and for now, I'm going to hang on to my navy cashmere sweater, this green wool sweater. It um, again, has held up for two years, but it's finally getting incredibly pilly. I will go over it with my sweater shaver, but now whenever I wear it or whenever I launder it, it pills up pretty immediately. So this guy might be circling the drain. And then my white sweater, I'm going to keep. This is an old, super old purchase from Forever 21. I have a couple of ideas for what I would like to replace it with, but I haven't found anything that has been perfect. But for now, I'm going to hang on to these three sweaters and get rid of these three. And last on the shelf are bags. Okay, the lighting is a bit weird, but in front of you are three handbags, a backpack, and these are just a bunch of dust jackets. My Cambridge Satchel Company bag is the bag that I use now every day and that is living in our entryway, but these are, our or these are my bags that are stored away in my closet all the time. This tiny bag I wear a couple of times a year. It's a good option to have if I, it's kind of funky, but also kind of formal. So I like hanging on to this one. This brown leather bag, I think I'm going to keep just because I like having a brown option. This black bag I got from And Other Stories several years ago. I wore it daily for over a year and I got a ton of use out of this bag, but I don't really see myself picking it up in the future and it's quite big and I'd like this space back. So I'm going to donate this bag and then hold on to these two guys. Of course, my Cambridge Satchel Company bag and this backpack are going to stay and this bag is going to go. Quick little check-in right now. This is the keep pile and these are the discards. Next we have the bulk of my wardrobe, including what you see here, as well as the striped tank and denim shorts that I am wearing right now. I took one look at this and knew I needed to have a try-on session. I had a bunch of clothes for summer stored away and it's been a while since I tried on some of these items. Plus, I'm considering taking my wardrobe in a little bit of a warmer direction. Historically, my wardrobe has always been pretty cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link a video in the description down below where I explain what I am talking about. But historically, my wardrobe has been pretty cool. I want to warm it up a bit. And so I was experimenting with what I have right now to see what will work if I try to push it in a little bit of a warmer direction. So here, and including what I'm wearing, I have three tank tops. I'm going to keep all of them, my striped tank top, my navy tank top, and my black cotton tank top. It's nice to have sleeveless options in the summer here. For short sleeve tops, I have two. I have a black linen short sleeve shirt, and I have this green olive army green flowy top. I'm going to let this one go because it's a little bit cooler than what I want to see in my wardrobe moving forward. So this top is going. I'm going to keep all three of my three quarter length tops. I have a black and white striped top, a red top and a black top, and these are all cotton blends. So I think it'll be easy to make them work with more cottons, more textured fabrics, things that are a little bit warmer. I have two white button down shirts and eventually I would like to find a replacement for one of these. I would like to find a white button down that has a little bit more of a casual fabric, maybe an Oxford or something that's a little bit more summery where I can roll up the sleeves and it's less polished. So eventually I will replace one of these with said white shirt, but for now I'm going to hang on to those two. And then I have three remaining long sleeve shirts a black one, two green ones, and my black 
and white star print shirt. I'm going to keep the star print shirt for now, even though it is pretty silky and drapey, um, which makes it a little bit less warm, but I'm going to try to have it tailored because I think it could be interesting to wear this underneath sweaters with a, with a little bit of that print coming through. So I'm going to hang on to this one for now. Of the two green ones, I'm going to get rid of this green shirt. It has a very low drop hem in the back and on me, it just looks a bit costumey. So this shirt can go. And then I have a black version and a green version of this shirt. I'm going to hang on to both of these for now, but from hanging on these hangers, there's a little bit of a puff, a little bit of a deformity in the fabric now on the sleeve of these shirts. So I think these might be leaving soon anyway, but for now I'm going to keep them. And then as for shorts and pants, I'm going to hang on to everything I have now. I might try to have these tailored. I could let these go, but these are really convenient for gardening in the summer, so I think I'm going to keep them. I have three pairs of denim, which is kind of a lot for me right now, but as I said, I'm thinking of taking my wardrobe in a warmer direction, so while I'm experimenting with that, I'd like to have the options. I'm going to keep my black pants, and of all the denim, I think I'm most tempted to get rid of my black jeans. But for now, I'm going to hang on to them. I think they work well with a couple of the pieces of loungewear that I have. If I'm going to like throw on pants and run to the grocery store or something, then I like having the black denim option. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to consider life without black jeans moving forward. Just deciding that right now today seems a little extreme, but... I'm going to keep them for now. I'm going to hang on to all of these pieces and get rid of these two green shirts. And historically, I've worn a lot of green, but it seems like it may be on its way out for me. The last stop on the tour is shoes. And this should be another easy category as well, just because I've been looking at them a lot recently. I've been thinking about how I want this area to change. Again, I want to warm up my wardrobe a little bit and shoes are an easy place to do that because they are a very high mileage, high impact item. So of the shoes that I have, I know I'm going to get rid of these white shoes. I've had them for a long time. They are fake leather. I bought them at Zara several years ago and I've gotten a lot of wear out of them, but they're not very sturdy shoes. They haven't held up well. And I've been using them to garden in recently because I knew I was going to get rid of these. I'm also going to get rid of these shoes. These are some sandals from Vince. I've had them for a couple of years, I think, as well. I've gotten a ton of wear out of these. I like the black and white contrast, but they just haven't stood up to the test of time. I've gotten my money's worth out of these shoes, but it is time to say goodbye. And that leaves me with what you see here. I am considering getting a different pair of boots to replace my tall black riding boots, but I'm going to hang on to those for now and see if I can replace those come next winter. I'm going to keep both of these black sandals. These shoes I wear only to the gym. I don't wear them anywhere else. My black Pumas, I have started looking for a replacement for these. I typically have to replace them about once a year because I wear those shoes basically every day. So instead of replacing them with the same black Pumas, this time I might find an alternative shoe. And I'm going to hang on to these black Chelsea boots for now. I bought these three, maybe four years ago at a Marshalls. They are Franco Sarto, but they are not real leather. They've still held up pretty well. And this back tab um, on one of the shoes broke, but I recently had it repaired because I really like the shape and the height of these boots. And I haven't found a real leather version that is the same style, the same cut on me. So I think I can get at least another year out of these and I already have them, so it's not a bad idea to hang on to them. And I'm going to keep my flip-flops. I'm gonna keep these for now, but I think I'm going to start introducing some warmer shoes soon. 
All right, declutter complete, and I've backed up so you can see what the situation is, what's going on. Over here, we have the keeper pile, and here are the discards. I know this is a lot to go back into my closet, but it's a lot that didn't used to live in my closet. It all used to live in the dresser, and now I get to put it all back. All right, everything is now packed away in the closet and it looks like this. I was able to consolidate some things. All of my ski items and my stored bags are now in this black backpack with the exception of my ski helmet. I have my lounge clothes and my sweaters. And then back here I have bins containing things like bras, workout gear, and socks and underwear. And these aren't the most attractive containers, but they are very light and they slide out easily. So if I'm gonna be reaching for my socks and underwear up there all the time, I am glad they are in convenient containers. And then we have all of my hanging clothes and my shoes. And over here are all of the discards, which is Really a sampling of every category, including shoes. And since I was able to put my ski clothes in the backpack, these two boxes are now empty. I'm not gonna get rid of them. I will put them in the guest room closet and see if I can use them around my house. But I am pretty happy with that. I hope you've enjoyed this little impromptu sort of total closet clear out. I am a lot happier with this than what I had earlier today. At least now I've made sense of it and I'll probably keep playing with the storage. It's not the greatest storage solution, but I do feel like I was able to have a proper clear out and really sort of set the stage for the changes I would like to start experimenting with in my wardrobe. That's gonna be it for me today. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.